how is your mom gonna look like an airpod case hey everybody what's up welcome back to the game skates today and only today we are here to discuss some very fun topics we've got another dual discussion today where uh there was yesterday the old thing with the gba games leaking on nintendo and today we got a xenoblade trailer plus up to release it so we're gonna talk about all that stuff but of course you know Joe, you know the wave of course like the video subscribe and all that stuff it helps us okay we're a small group still here okay we gotta grow we gotta thrive into the nexus okay so help us now all right i hope you guys have been enjoying all these uh let me know what's up and how you're doing all that stuff so guys let's not fuck around anymore let's get right into it so i wake up today in a in a panic right because i see nintendo not only randomly drops a xenoblade trailer but drops an updated release date of july 29th when it was originally saved for september so let's go ahead and watch this trailer real quick man let's let's i uh, i uh, I saw like once this morning. I need to see this shit again, bro. Let me see what's popping with the gang. So we got some shadow people. God, bro, it looks so good. The new like character designs are so clean, bro. Looks like they're doubling down like the cell shading. Ah, oh. it's just so cool, man. It's just so cool. It's just so good. There it is. There's our UI, bro. There's our UI. Look at that. There's the zeal baby. God, bro, that. The flow looks so good. I know the people that don't like Xenoblade, this looks like the most fucked up gibberish of all time. And believe me, as someone who plays uh, Xenoblade, this is still the most fucked up gibberish in terms of combat. But it looks cool. So that's really all that matters. As long as it looks cool. This is terrible. bro. This dude is terrifying. Who looks like this, bro? Imagine you woke up. Someone pulled up to you looking like this. Oh, my God. So you got this shit right here looking cool. Look at the gang, bro. I just the music man. Ah. So here we go. So this this is the big this is the big thing that they're like touting for this. Um here we go. How are you inside me? There it is. So you got this cool like fusion mechanic. Um they kind of look like Evangelion designs, which is really cool. But yeah, I guess like you know, the wielders and, and dudes here, you could just fuse in battle, do some crazy damage to enemies and shit. God, it looks so fucking good. Look at that. The bonds of friendship allow you. I wonder. Oh my god. God, it looks so cool. So it's saying you can take this form via desire and emotion. So I'm wondering if like there's a system in the game where like, well, obviously some of these are story like cutscenes, so you can tell some of these are like forced in a sense um for the main gameplay. But I wonder if like this this means like in the game if you build you know your affinity with certain characters you'll be able to unlock their fusion state i hope like every because there's seven party members i hope that you can like i hope it's crazy expansive in which like every character has a different fusion with another character if they bond enough or something that'd be really cool because god bro look at that shit man it looks so cool what a dope mechanic man i love this shit look at that bra crazy I just there's Melia looking evil. It just God, it looks so good, man. It looks so good. Uh huh. Talk about that wish, man. That I just bro. Look at this dude, bro. Look at this dude, bro. He I'm so correct me if I'm wrong. He turns his Xeno blade into a Xeno arm, bro. Look at this shit, bro. This dude deadass turns the Xenoblade into a Xeno arm. And it's, it's crazy, bro. I love that shit, man. You love to see it. God, you got mech battles in this. I can't wait, bro. You got your little poppy people, bro. There's your combat, man. Can't wait, bro. You got your chain attacks. Obviously, again... Now listen, here's the thing, here's the thing everybody, I don't want to say the thing, I don't want to say the thing, right, but I will say, the cutout thing, you know, kind of inspired, you know, you know yeah, I'm, just, I'm just being cheeky, I'm just being cheeky, it's all good, it's all good, but man, it just, it looks awesome, I'm just so happy, like, the fact that, uh, I don't know what kind of crack model of soft to pump out all these games in this short amount of time, I don't know if it's like, because they just understand how to make games, or if it's like, the lower hardware, I don't know, man. But they're making shit very quickly. Insane. So Xenoblade 3, 
seven party members. Um, and again, the most shocking thing here is this game was bumped. It is now July 29th. This game was originally slated for September. It's coming out in July now. That's crit. That's like a two month bump right there. Like, I just can't believe that shit. It's insane. Like, uh, I'm it's very. We're so used to every game nowadays just getting delayed. That's just our, our mental state of like, okay, this game gets delayed. So to see a game forward pushed by two months is really awesome. Now, before we get into you know the GBA topic, I wanted to talk about like what this means sort of for Nintendo's like fall because it is weird now, right? Like Breath of the Wild two has been delayed. Xenoblade two has now been upped uh, to July, and I wonder what this means for their fault because as much as obviously pokemon is massive nintendo's not gonna let that be the only thing i'm guessing you know i'm guessing splatoon 3 was originally gonna be july but it's having some dev stuff that they're doing and it's probably gonna be august now like i'm guessing an august release makes sense for that game um then maybe bayonetta in september and then maybe mario plus rabbits kingdom battle in october i could see something like that I also do think they have a surprise or two. And I think, I specifically think there are two games they have hit. One, I think a Zelda port. I think, so, so again, unless they break this pattern, there has been a singular Zelda game release um, once a year on Switch since, since the Switch's launch. You know, whether it was Age of Calamity, whether it was Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition, whether it was Cadence of Hyrule, whether it was Skyward Sword, whether it was Link's Awakening DX, whatever. There's uh, Breath of the Wild, obviously. Like, there's been a Zelda release on the console once a year since it's come out. So, um, or Skyward Sword 2, unless they're going to break that tradition, it makes sense, you know, that we still get a Zelda game, and I can totally see Wind Waker, you know, Wind Waker or Twilight Princess or a double bundle of some kind um, pulling up this year. I think that's not necessarily a given, but it's like, it's something that we're thinking about in terms of if we're going to get a 3D or, or maybe Grezzo's ready for a new 2D one. I mean, what, Link's Awakening came out, was it? It was 2019 now, I'm pretty sure. Um, so I wouldn't be shocked if, you know, it's been three years, Grezzo has had time to do another 2D Zelda remake of some kind. Like, that That wouldn't be really shocking, to be honest with you. That could be ready to go, for all we know. Um, of course, another possibility, again, we have a Mario movie coming out in December, and I just think having a Mario game in the fall vicinity would make sense. You know what I mean? I know some people are going to say Mario plus Rabbids counts, um, which it could. It could very much count. But they could want to have something mainline, you know, a mainline 2D Mario or Copium Odyssey 2. I don't think it's going to be Odyssey 2, but I think I think at the very least Odyssey 2 will be announced at E3. But um, what's it called? I think maybe a 2D Mario seems like a super likely thing. Either way, it's just interesting to think about what Nintendo's fall is going to look like. But for now, I, I could easily see it as... You know, we're getting, what's it called? June, we have Mario Strikers, Fire Emblem Three Hopes. July, we get Xenoblade. August, we get Splatoon. September, we get Bayonetta. October, we get Mario Plus Rabbids. November, Pokemon. And that's it. That's all. But I think there is going to be a surprise too. Plus, they're still going to have DLC for their games and stuff. Um, hoping for Mario Party DLC. And I can't wait for more Mario, uh, Mario Kart DLC, which I think will live drop in June when there's like an E3 direct or something. So, that's that for that. Now... Let's talk about the second news item we got to get into right here, which is the Game Boy Advance. Speaking of things that are going to drop on Nintendo for the fall. Um, so, yeah, this dude, Trash Bandicoot, shout out. Uh, so, Nintendo's official Game Boy Advance, I mean, on the Switch, just leaked. Now, just a matter of waiting for NSO to add GBA. So, basically, what had happened is already a year ago, it was leaked in the files, sort of, that GBA, um, GB in general, was, was in the system. But now we have, like, full-on proof. Like, we're seeing, like, the, the screen. We're seeing certain games. We're seeing Pokemon Pinball. We're seeing Mr. Driller, Golden Sun, you know, Pokemon Trade. You got, uh, it's called Ninja 5-0. You got, you got a bunch of things pulling up here. I think someone had found a list of games that were, yeah, look, there's games that are literally, like, working on the console right now. You got Mario 3 on the GBA. You got F-Zero. You got Yoshi's Island GBA. You got all... All of these things, bro. Um, and yes, yeah, so that is really awesome. I know there was like a list of games that were being tested on it, which was like chain. I, I, oh, let me find this chain of. If I search chain of memories, I think we'll find the post I'm talking about. Oh, here it is, bro. So there was a list of games that are being tested on this thing. And uh, the list is like pretty extensive. You got Astro Boy. You got Car Battle Joe. I don't know what that is. You got Castlevania, obviously. You got Choo Choo Rocket. Drill Dozer, nice. Five of them, Sacred Stones. F-Zero. 
Game and Watch, Golden Sun. Obviously, thank God. Guns of Star Superheroes. That's cool. That's really cool. I love that game back in the day. Kirby Amazing Mirror. That's going to be awesome to have, hopefully, in co op, assuming they're going to continue the trend of having online co op with these. Uh, virtual consoles, of course, Mario Party Advance, Mario Super Circuit, Kingdom Hearts Chain, Memories is Wild, um, Mega Man Battle Network, Mario vs. Donkey Kong, Mario Party Advance, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Pokemon Pinball, Mario 3, obviously, Wario Land 4, Wario Wear, uh, Yoshi's Island, Legends of the Minish Cap, which, thank God, and so many more. So, yeah, no, I mean, that's really that for that story, but again, it's, it's so exciting because to me i think i think adding game boy advance games to nintendo switch online is like the boost they need like i think if people want if the way because obviously they have the expansion pack now and i think the way to make it fully worth it by that point would be having gba games because again gba comes with gb and J game boy color you know so i think we're gonna be able to have game boy color games game boy advance games you know og game boy games i think that's gonna be such a massive thing and those games you know were designed for handheld i mean so what more perfect way to play them then on switch and this is going to be really exciting because there's so many game boy advance games that have multiplayer features but you needed the link cable back in the day and if you didn't have it you just missed out on a lot of cool features i think now it's going to make it such a better experience you know and we're being able to do like potentially four play player kirby and the amazing mirror is going to be awesome you know i mean being able to play f-zero with people being able to play even mario kart super circuit being able to play a bunch of these game mario party advance with people it's good like it's going to be a good time to experience certain games in multiplayer obviously four sorts adventures maybe they figure that out or something but either way man i'm i'm really excited gba is is very near and dear to my heart that was like that was my childhood because i i was able to play game boy color when i was young um but i feel like game boy advance for me was like that real start of everything in handheld wise for me in terms of how much i committed to and played that so that'll be awesome i pray i pray i don't care if it's on the japanese eShop only or the regular eShop. i pray for the sonic advance games to be on this this is a problem uh because the psych advanced games have like rights issues with thq because they were published by thq in the west for some fucking reason or something um but in japan they were so they could potentially have them on the japanese eShop. in which case i will gladly make a japanese account to get them there um but yeah i just hope for a lot of stuff i hope they get weird i mean from the list here like the fact that it's even considered that they're gonna get kingdom hearts chain of memories is crazy considering how square is nowadays uh mega man battle network too that's wild considering again the fact that there's probably gonna be some sort of mega man battle network collection by capcom but yeah man i'm i'm really excited for gba just give me gba give me gb and of course i mean we can't talk about game boy without pokemon like come on now i i know game freak likes to do their own releases or something but you gotta have pokemon man like you i i don't know how you could have a game boy or a game boy advance like thing without a singular mainline pokemon you gotta find a way to do it. you gotta work with pokemon company get that shit out there and make that clean but uh yeah man so that's really it for today i mean xenoblade being bumped up is awesome thinking about what's coming up for the fall and of course game boy advances so guys let me know what you are most excited for what do you think is the hidden game that's still yet to be announced what do you think of xenoblade 3 is it looking awesome for you i, I think it looks amazing like it it's just gonna i think it's gonna be an awesome game so guys thank you all for watching y'all are the best and of course i'll see you all tomorrow peace out i love you bye